Hey guys, right here I have a 2013 Peugeot RCZ. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors automatically folds in. And upon unlocking, the side mirrors automatically folds out again. As you open the doors, the windows dip down a little bit to clear the door frame. And that is because the windows in this car are frameless. The RCZ uses an electro-hydraulic rack and pinion power steering system. The steering wheel for Malaysian spec models comes wrapped in leather and it features sport grips at 10 and 2, perforated sections on the sides, a flat bottom design and the RCZ badge on the bottom spoke. Two transmission options were available for the Malaysian market. The choice was between a 6-speed automatic in the THP165 variant and a 6-speed manual in the THP200 variant. The automatic transmission does have the option to shift manually via the gear lever. Front and rear parking sensors are standard. Another feature for the automatic RCZ is the sport and the winter driving modes selected using the buttons to the left of the gear lever. Safety on the RCZ consists of for airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability program, anti-skid regulation, hill start assist, an alarm system with immobilizer, and dead locking. As usual, let's turn on the hazards, lights, rear fog light, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. The bonnet release lever is located to the left of the front passenger's footwell. Nineteen inch technical alloy rims finished in storm grey are present on the facelifted RCZ in Malaysia. The tyres on this RCZ measure 23540ZR19 in front and 24540ZR19 at the back. Disc brakes are found all round, with the ones in front being ventilated while the rear ones are solid. The suspension gets McPherson struts in front and a rear torsion beam setup. Peugeot's RCZ is a 2 plus 2 seater sports coupe that rivals cars like the Audi TT and the Toyota 86. The RCZ was initially conceived as only a concept car without any plans for production. However, due to the amount of attention received by the 308 RCZ concept car that was unveiled at the 2007 Frankfurt Motor Show, Peugeot decided to put the RCZ into production. The production car, which debuted at the 2009 Frankfurt Motor Show, was simply known as the RCZ and it stayed true to the lines of the concept car. For the 2013 model year, the RCZ received a facelift which altered the front end to bring it in line with the rest of the current Peugeot range. Along with this facelift is the addition of the range-topping RCZ-R, the most powerful production Peugeot ever. Throughout its production period, the RCZ won numerous awards such as the Top Gear 2010 Coupe of the Year, Best Coupe of the Year from Auto Express for the years 2010, 2011 and 2012, 
Diesel Car Magazine's Best Sports Car for 5 years in a row from 2010 to 2014 and many more. After over 50,000 units produced and about 6 years of production, Peugeot pulled the plug on the RCZ and stopped producing it in 2015. The engine in this RCZ is a 1.6-litre, dual of 8 cams, 16 valves, turbocharged in 94 petrol unit with variable valve timing and direct injection. This engine produces 163 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 240 newton meters of torque at 1400 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 8.4 seconds onto a 213 km per hour top speed. The fuel tank takes in 55 liters of petrol and the combined fuel consumption for the RCZ THP 165 automatic is 7.3 liters per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is around 168 grams per kilometer, and the RCZ is a front wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the RCZ includes automatic auto leveling adaptive xenon projector headlights, automatic wipers, headlight washer system, LED daytime running lights, LED rear lights, LED rear indicators, rear fog light, front and rear parking sensors, indicators below the black side mirrors, body colored door handles, an active rear spoiler, and dual exhaust pipes. You do have a speaker right there together with a large storage bin down below and right here you do have your mirror controls together with your window controls. Both the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. Storage Peugeot door sills and the driver's seat in this RCZ does get full power adjustments with all of your controls located right down there together with your 2% memory settings and your heated seat control. To gain access to the rear seats, locate this lever right here, pull it and flip the seat back forward. All right. So let's go ahead and see how she revs.
The RCZ in Malaysia does come standard with a dual zone automatic climate control system. All of your controls are located right down here, it is quite simple to use. You do have your fan speed in the middle together with your different modes, recirculation, front and rear defrost. Mono means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control the temperature for both sides, but if you turn it off, each side will have individual temperature controls. And speaking of temperature controls, you do have your passenger side temperature with your automatic mode and your driver's side temperature with your air conditioning button. Storage and more storage right in here. Power outlet a bit of storage and a cup holder. This button lowers or raises the rear spoiler. To the right of the hazard light switch, you do have the button to deactivate your electronic stability program function. This button turns off the parking sensors, your electronic central locking button, and this button turns off the interior sensors for the alarm system. You do have a bit of storage below the head unit. And in between the central aircon vents in front, you do have a very nice analog clock. The RCZ comes with an integrated head unit with a retractable 7-inch color display, various media connectivity options, navigation, and a 6-speaker 240W JBL sound system. I must say the JBL sound system available in this RCZ does sound quite good. The display right above is controlled using your set of controls located down on the dashboard. You do have your CD player right above. The CD player is MP3 compatible, power button, eject button for the CD player, your volume buttons, your six customizable stations, your directional arrows up, down, left and right. The left and right arrows also doubles up as your seat track buttons. In the middle you do have the knob that scrolls to the left, scrolls to the right and clicks down for enter. To the left of the knob, you do have your radio, music, navigation and mode buttons. Or to the right, you do have your setup, phone, traffic and back buttons. Now, back to the display itself. If we hit the mode button, we can cycle between your media information, your navigation maps to the right and your navigation maps full screen. If we hit the radio button, we can access the FM, AM and news. If we hit the music button, we can change to your desired media options. You do have CD, USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth audio streaming and all that. You can also go to your audio adjustments with your preset equalizers, your bass, travel, your loudness, balance and fader and your automatic volume. Obviously to go back, just hit the back button. You can also activate audio source right here. Under navigation, we can select destination, guidance options, map management, restore guidance, and all that. Under setup, we can bring up your configuration menu with your color, your brightness, date and time and units, your speech settings, language, your vehicle settings with your vehicle access, your lighting settings and down below you do have your vehicle alert lock. Under traffic we can bring up your traffic information if available and under phone we can call a number, look at your contacts, look at your call lists, bring up your contacts management, phone functions, bluetooth functions and all that. And that's about it for the display. Now the button on the right we can close the display and the button on the left allows you to adjust the angle of the display. As shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. But to fold the side mirrors in from the inside, make sure this switch is in the middle and pull back on it.
there are no controls on the steering wheel but behind it on the top right stalk you do have your wiper controls if you locate the button at the end of the wiper stalk you can go through your multi-information display located within the instrument cluster right now you do have your digital speedometer instant fuel consumption and range trip 1 and trip 2 under the two trip meters you do have your average speed average fuel consumption and distance travel turning the display off your navigation menu and back to your digital speedometer on the bottom right stall you do have your audio controls on the top left stall you do have your light and indicator controls and on the bottom left stall you do have your cruise control and speed limiter controls the steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic you adjust it using this lever right here Adjustable front center armrest With storage down below you do have your auxiliary and USB ports right in there as well Auto dimming rear view mirror and you do have your interior lights right above Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a couple of lights. All right. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour. To gain access to the boot, go towards the rear of the car and locate a touchpad right above the number plate. Boot space in the RCZ is surprisingly quite alright. There is 384 litres on offer and if more boot space is needed, the rear seat bags can be folded down via a red lever to the top right of the boot. There is a light to the right of the boot and under the boot floor is some storage and the vehicle's tyre repair kit. window control, speaker, and a large storage bin down below. The front passenger seat in this car does get full powered adjustments as well. With all of your controls located right down there, you do have the same set of controls as the driver's side, just that it loses out on the memory settings. You do have heated seat for this side as well. It is the same method to gain access to the back. Pull this lever and flip the seat back forward. It is a very tight back seat. I can't actually fit back there so I'm not gonna demonstrate that. But there is no headroom and there is no legroom back there. I guess the back seats are only suitable for 
children or people of a small size. As with most other right-hand drive Peugeot and Citroëns, the glove box is actually quite small due to the location of the fuse box right here. You only have this area to store items in. Sun visor for the front passenger. Let's get a vanity mirror and a couple of lights as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2013 Peugeot RCZ. Thanks for watching and goodbye.